but we've got this big modern divider here, haven't we? My coming plan <laughs> is to put wood paneling at the bottom and above that we'll have a lime plaster of a special kind that you, that's mixed with resin that, that uh, sticks to smooth surfaces. Beautiful! Right. Beautiful, Clément! Beautiful! Oh, yeah. Beautiful! 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 Is it dry? Yep! Oh yeah, that's nice! I think it looks nice enough to put on the main wall. What do you think? Yeah, that could work actually. We've come to the crucial point now, which is making the final plan for the wood panelling behind. So we bought actually two different types of uh, panels, mm. so we could choose which one's the best. They are uh, almost the same, except that one is slightly wider than the other one. Mm. Uh, I think personally the wider one looks better. Um, but uh, I'm open to any other proposal. Well, we talked a lot about wood panels because they have the potential to look either quite tacky or very classic and long lived. And um, it's slightly different out here. It's not the chateau. This is um, an outbuilding and it's rustic. And what we didn't want was something that looked like it was supposed to be in a Parisian apartment um, or an Alpine chalet or something. Um, and as we looked through uh, books for inspiration and on the internet and things, we discovered that the feeling we quite liked was um, in a lot of American, North American um, uh, cabin, uh, wooden houses with thicker, thicker planks, didn't we? Indeed. Indeed. Because we, um, originally we wanted to use our own wood in here to go with the whole plan for um, here of using our own stuff but uh, we don't have the machine uh, the, the big machines for sort of steaming things flat and it would have been really hard to do and taken an extremely long time mark's brother suggested that we got ready-made panels either floor ones or wall ones and um, we put one across the bottom as a skirting board and one across the top um, as a finishing piece it's very exciting, but yeah, pity we can't use our own, but for the moment I think it's the most practical because otherwise we're not going to be able to move in and we can't afford the sort of machinery that's needed to, um, to route and flatten yeah, our own. It, be, it would take us months just to yeah. do the panelling here if we did it yeah. by hand. As you've seen, we have some competition for our time. <laughs> So you're talking about the wall panels being like <laughs> this. Um, it's a bit hard on lined paper, isn't it? And then having yeah, a base, the the <laughs> and then having a base board like that, the same, mm -hmm. same height, <laughs> the same type of baseboard, or would you buy something specific I for would, skirting? Uh, I would probably. 
petite uh, little bit thicker. Yeah. Uh, we could yeah. actually use one of ours yeah. Yeah. and just uh, yeah. wrap a bit it. on the. Yeah. Um, My big query is about the um, top. You see, I don't think it would look right to have a piece at the top that's the same width as the no, bit at the that's, bottom. That's not a big problem. I was thinking more of something that in profile, um, so if this is the wall, in profile would be something like that at the top. Yeah, we can do that. And it wouldn't necessarily be actually very wide, it would be maybe even like that. Well, look, to, it, to avoid wasting wood, it looks like we just need to do a meter high plus the baseboard and then we can, once we've put it in, we can actually think, think yeah, what we, we can want decide the rest of it. Yeah. Here's my other question. Do we do, I think I know the answer you're going to give me, do we do the panelling first or the plastering first? We could actually put the panelling without the top board. Yeah. The, do the, um, the thingy. Yeah. And then add the. <laughs> we got this chorus of children. <laughs> so, should we crack on with the panelling tomorrow then? Yeah, if you like. Yeah. Mm. What's the process we need for that? So, uh, I don't know because I've never done it, <laughs> but the, my idea is to start with the skirting board, yeah. uh, which needs to be flush against the floor um, um, and the wall, which needs to have a nice profile and a little gully at the top to slot the panels in. And we're going to use our own wood for that, aren't we? Yes. We need a reasonably straight plank, <laughs> which, uh, which isn't guaranteed because they, they've been drying uh, naturally. Yeah. And they have uh, they are still raw from the sawmill. Yeah. Uh, so they haven't been planed or anything. Yeah. Uh, we might have to factor in the fact that the floor might not be flat. Or, um, so, uh, and the excellent news is that the pile of wood is about as far away from here as is possible and about as inaccessible as possible, isn't it? Yeah, we just need a pretty couple of planks. So, Margaret, if you wouldn't mind going and searching the planks for the day. <laughs> I hope you will choose the ones at the top of the bed. <laughs> no. I'm trying to do laundry at the same time because uh, it's a sunny day after lots of rain. So you just want to meet me, Harry Wood? <laughs> no. This is our pile of planks. This is the barn of treasure uh, where we store lots of things that we're going to use in the future. Yeah. Um, um, these could go potentially. Yeah, they're not bad. Those are, I quite like those, yeah. They're not as thick, but they're tall. Mm. I am willing to help you get that out. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh. I guess we can just we can just do it the long way and just take each plank off the top together. Well, you don't have much choice. No. <laughs> Thank you.
I was thinking we need probably that one down there. That's what they thought. Uh -huh. I've still got a sense of humor after carrying all that wood. <laughs> well, I've done half of the work, you did the other half. <laughs> Can you shake this one more? Oh. oh, did we? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, that's a nice enough one. Uh, oh, that's disappointingly one. easy to get to. Okay, so this is your plank. Yeah. It's too short, so what should we do? No, it's not, is it? Oh, no. Oh. How disappointing. How do you know? Mm. Yeah, it looks really short. <laughs> Which one do you like the look of and I'll sort it out? Well the thing is I think they're the same length. Now. Oh are they? Well you can check at the other end but it looks like it. So can you see any longer ones? Yeah I think that one. Yeah. Okay, so they're all the same length then. Yep. So what are we going to do? Um, Can we well, use more than one? Or like yeah, we'll do. Because they're going to be behind a bed in the middle. Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this one. It looks flat. I'm trying to help you for your job. Mm, thank you. That actually looks really nice and flat. I'm not kidding. It looks like a nice bit. Yeah. And we need another one. Yeah. Um, is that the same width as this? Um, yeah. Okay. Shape them uh, to make a slot so we can put the paneling at the back and to round the edge as well to make it nice and smooth and also sand them uh, so they don't look too 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 rough um, so yeah i'm just going to do the the routing profile i need to select the the best edge for that because uh, it will be the the most visible one so. It's gonna be, it's gonna be this, uh, this one. So this will be the, the top. So I'm going to clamp it to the table. This is a round uh, routing bit to to make it nice and uh, well nice and round. Okay, this is it. Yeah. Send the, the flat bit, uh, the visible part roughly. Uh, so just so that it looks okay when we paint it.
I'm not trying to make it uh, perfect because the I think it's what makes the part of the charm of the old buildings that nothing is actually perfect. So um, if I just wanted a smooth uh, uh, plastic looking uh, plank, I'd just buy it from the hardware store. But the um, I think all the charm from uh, all the charm of an old building comes from the fact that it's full of imperfections. Historically, in that kind of buildings, you wouldn't have qualified craftsmen for every job. So it would have been the gardener doing a bit of uh, of carpentry or a bit of masonry here and there. So they, it's all a mismatch of uh, imperfections everywhere. And uh, I actually, it's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not. Uh, I'm doing as uh, as well as I can, but I'm not a qualified carpenter. So it will, uh, it won't look as if I was one. <laughs> I've changed the writing bit uh, to make a slot at the back of the, the boards now. So that's my second pass. As far as I went, because uh, the Amy was working in, on the plaster, so I didn't. Uh, it was a bit uh, difficult to be uh, doing different, well, dusty work uh, at the same time as her. And also, I had uh, I had to cut the plank a bit differently because I realized the the floor isn't flat actually. Um, so yeah, it required a few adjustments, but this is where I got with my uh, skirting board. So the wood panels will slot in at the back like this and uh, be pressed against the wall. Uh, so I think I'm quite pleased with the result. Uh, so it will come to about this height and there will be another board at the top. So yeah, I think that's, uh, that's gonna work. Um, I also had another issue uh, I had to deal with when uh, the worker were installed these, uh, these, uh, the walls, uh, the plaster boards, they cut one of the electric wires inside the, the wall and uh, so the electrician had to break two tiles in order to be able to put a new cable through. And so I had to fix uh, to fix these tiles, and now I need to regrab them and uh, yeah, reinstall the refinish it before I install the skirting board. So it's a little uh, little delay, uh, but uh, it's moving forward slowly. Nice! Nice! <laughs> 